Hello people, in this video you will learn the correct way of implementing bottom navigation bar in a Flutter application. So right here I have a very, very basic application going on. This has a index stack that comprises of all these uh, widgets and then we have a bottom navigation down here and everything is driven by this current index variable, right? So the problem with this approach where we are having set state and a, a stateful widget is we, are, we get to see unnecessary rebuilds, right? So that if I navigate to a uh, home page, navigate to settings, the whole page gets rebuilt. Let me quickly restart for you. Okay, so uh, the whole page is built for the first time, but whenever I switch to setting, settings, it is built again. And if I switch to profile, it is built again. So this is something that we wish to avoid, right? So how are we going to achieve it? Well, we'll be understanding some basic state management to achieve this, to, uh, you know, avoid having unnecessary rebuilds. And this is one of the basic use cases of a state management library. And we will be achieving this using Riverport. Okay. So let me quickly pull out my browser and in here, let us search for Riverport. Okay. You can find it on pub.dev and keep in mind, you have to install flutter underscore Riverport, right? You can copy it get into your pubspec.yaml you can come down to dependencies and paste it right here okay so that it installs for you sweet now what we'll do is we'll have to go back to our main and we'll have to wrap this application with the provider scope that comes from the riverpod library itself so you can say provider scope and then you can wrap your application and definitely mark it constant for uh, you know some better performance Sweet. Now we'll go back to our home and we will declare a provider. So this is one of the common norms of doing so in Riverpod. So we can say final bottom nav index provider. And we are going to use a state provider because we need to uh, watch for the state for this variable. So we can say state provider and make it return zero for now. Okay. Sweet. Now what we'll do is we will try to convert this widget back to a stateless widget because definitely we are going to uh, avoid the usage of uh, the set state right here. Okay. So what we'll do is we will uh, remove the current index from everywhere. Okay. That's sweet. And then we can remove set state as well and we'll make it zero for now. Okay. Now we can hover on this and we can get this to convert it to stateless widget for us. That's sweet from IntelliSense. And we can restart this application so that the error goes away. Okay, for now the application is no longer functional but will be in a moment. Okay, now what we have to do is we need to somehow make use of this provider to update our states, right? So what are we going to do? We will do is, what we'll do is we'll just grab uh, the provider like so. You can say final current index and then we can make use of ref but wait we need to get hold of this ref okay uh, I'll tell you what this ref is in a moment but first let's convert this into a consumer widget okay like so and remember this consumer widget comes from the flutter underscore river pod library itself so definitely it's pretty handy and this gives us access to something called widget ref in the build method. So let's get hold of it. Okay. And this ref can now be used to interact with this provider. Right. So we can say current index equals ref dot watch because we need to watch for the changes that come to this provider. And then we can say bottom in nav index provider. Okay. That works for us. And one more thing that we have to make sure is inside our method when this options are clicked, we need to update the value on this provider, right? To do so, what we'll do is we'll again make use of ref and instead of watching, we will read this and remember whenever you are trying to update the state, we only and only use read, we avoid using watch. Why? Because we don't want it to watch and rebuild unnecessarily, right? So we'll say provider. Oh, not provider it's bottom nav provider and then we'll get hold of the notifier right and then we can say update 
and then we can return the value okay so that whatever value we get here from this uh, on destination selected it is sent to the provider and every widget that is listening to this provider gets updated sweet let's quickly restart this application okay well something isn't right okay so we need to make sure this current index is passed to the selected index and also to the index stack as well so that i can say uh, index is current index right okay so if i select home i get back to home if i go to settings i go to settings if i go to profile uh, it shows me profile but wait we still have this problem where the whole page is rebuilding right to tackle this issue what we'll do is instead of really listening to this provider inside of our home view we will mark it back to the stateless widget stateless widget so that we again lose we have to lose the uh, widget ref so we won't be able to do this here okay that's fine now what we can do is we can wrap our index stack with a widget called consumer that again comes from the riverpod library so that i can say consumer okay and this requires a builder i can say a builder like so and then i can return my index stack cool and all i have to do is i need to get a variable called a uh, current index to uh, point to this value bottom nav index provider right okay so before the return i can say final current index equals ref dot watch just like that okay and now what happens is only this part of the widget tree or uh, where it says index stack is watching for the current index so whenever this provider is updated only this part gets updated but the issue is we don't have the access to ref here and this also requires to be updated in the same way right so what we can do to solve this issue is we can wrap this as well with a consumer widget so that we can say consumer like so and then again have our builder here just like that and then we can return our uh, bottom navigation bar just like so okay and then again we can have access to the ref dot uh, watch bottom index provider so we will paste it right here and then let's quickly format our code just like that okay let's quickly restart this application and see what happens all right the whole page has built once let's try to move to settings and see nothing happens let's go to profile and see again the whole page didn't build but definitely you can check it out what's being built just by saying uh just by adding a print statement here so that we can say uh, index stack built right and then we can have a message here we can say print bottom nav or navigation built right and then again let's quickly save this code let's run this application right okay now whenever i go to any other widget or whenever i try to navigate through my bottom navigation only the bottom navigation and the index stack that requires to be updated gets built and we have successfully uh, avoid we have successfully been able to make sure that the whole page isn't getting rebuilt how cool is that so this is how you use riverpod state management to avoid unnecessary rebuilds in your application if you are using bottom navigation bar so yeah definitely like the video subscribe to the channel this is dart bucket signing off <laughs>